Hey there, Gemini. Hi, it's Angie with Feisty Butterfly Tarot. And today we're taking a look at what's going on for you for February. We're looking at the first week of February, January into February, next week to 10 days. And so we're going to take a look at that, see what's going on currently, what's coming at you, maybe a few um, bits of advice or hidden influences. Now, I drew the Queen of Pentacles off the top here to see what might be a theme or going on for your energy. We're using the Good Tarot and then the Robin Wood decks. So we're going to take a peek. And we're going to start with the Robin Wood full deck. This shorter deck is um, got the Queen of Pentacles sending out. So if we see her again, we're going to know to pay attention. So let's take one more look. More shuffle, I should say. All right. So this looks like home energy, home front energy that's going on in abundance of the home, and real care and attention being paid to that currently. Okay. So it looks like you have the six of coins, which is giving and receiving, the knight of cups, which is emotion and offering emotional gifts. Um, wanting to take action emotionally, and then the devil, kind of old ways of doing things, old energies that you feel bound to or behavior patterns that aren't serving you. That's what's going on for you. I would almost say that this energy, this devil energy in regards to this giving and receiving and offerings of love, it's almost like um, keeping score, perhaps a little too much, um, quid pro quo, tit for tat, just this much for me, this much for you, being overly worried and concerned about that doesn't serve. Offering love, offering your heart, that's important right now. And I'm not saying invest in something that's totally crazy and not serving you and not helping you. I'm not saying be codependently crazy. I'm saying understand that the nature of giving and receiving should be fluid, should flow. There's offerings of love and many offerings that come in different ways. Keep your heart open at this time. Don't be quick to be offended. Be ready to receive, be ready to give, and understand that that flow has to happen both directions, okay? We're going to take a look a little bit further at what might be coming at you. What do we got here? Okay, guys, 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 okay. So the Four of Pentacles is about kind of broodiness you're you're happy about some things but not about others and you're not seeing this offering this gift being offered okay this came up upside down so it's a matter of you adjusting your vision really taking another look the king of pentacles is coming out a very good balance for the home and hearth very much about abundance very much about um growing in the material sense um hearth home time resources energy money all that kind of thing and then this Ten of Wands, where there's something burdened that's going to be lightening up. So you're almost to the end. If you look at the card, you can kind of see in the background this castle that he's going towards. He's almost there. If somebody came along, they could offer help if he would be willing to share that load. So it's something that you can give and receive. You can help. You can serve. You can be there and support other family, other people at work, or just yourself a little bit more. And realize that you're almost to that point where you're home. It's it's almost golden. It's it's coming. All right. Then we're gonna look at some advice energy for you or unseen things like undercurrents, those kinds of things. Let's take a look. What do we have for you right now? Guys, okay, triple seven twenty one. Not as lucky as you think, but not bad. Okay, so here's this kind of indecisive energy, a little bit in the realm of fantasy and illusion, sometimes self-deception, so many blessings, so many choices, so many options, and not making a choice, not choosing to do something, just lost in this procrastination. Now you have the seven of coins coming up. This is where things are coming into fruition and you're evaluating. This is in reverse. This is time to figure out what to cut away and what to move forward. And you're almost there, but you're putting off taking action. It's time to act. 
Here you have the higher ground. It's time to defend. It's time to get clear about boundaries. You have a higher ground. You have this inner knowing. You know what it is you want to do. You might fritter around and think, yeah, da, 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 da. but you can see what's being offered. You know what you value. You know what you love. And you know which of these, if there is one or more than one, you know which of these is the one that matters and the one that you need to choose to honor, to take care of and attend to, okay? We're going to take a look at the good tarot next and see if there's any other information to give you for this upcoming week. King of Earth. This is the same of King of Coins on the King of Coins. Okay, guys, there is this energy where things are abundant around. You need to have established order. You need to be able to balance that, sort things out. Be mindful. I wouldn't say even cautious or prudent or careful, but mindful <coughs> of how you're using your resources, your energy, your time. Be sure that you're showing the value and the appreciation for the treasures that you have be they physical and in the material realm or in the treasures of the time and relationships that you have. That's very, very key for you right now. We're going to also look at the um, Wisdom Oracle and see if there's any other information that we might give you, whoa, to help you at this time. That new life card kicked out for somebody else. A lot of us are seeing some change. We've all had this kind of tower moment, this new energy coming forward. I think it was Pisces that also had this. This is the time to stretch, to really grow. It's almost like, for you guys, I think it's like waking up, waking up after a long winter's nap. Really, that's kind of like, that's, that's how it strikes me. Like bears coming out of hibernation for you guys. Other people I thought of like butterfly energy, but no, you, this is more like a hungriness, a desire to be moving and doing and getting clear about things. You're almost done with this winter's nap. It's time to wake up and move forward. Okay, Gemini, what else do we got? Clean it up. Clean it up is talking about taking care of things, decluttering things, um, being aware of what you have, again, about what you value, what you treasure in the 3D. Um, sometimes it's paring things down and simplifying for some of you. Sometimes it's just um, polishing the silver. It's taking care of things. It's putting order and structure to your environment. Anything else for the Geminis going forward in this week? Loyal heart. Okay. Loyal heart is about this pair of owls. <laughs> you have this pair here that's crowned in the coins. You have the wise owls that are also crowned. This is loyal heart. This is love. This is somebody that you have let have access to your heart. They, they know you well. They know how you operate. You see keys hanging from the, um, what do they call that? From the ribbon there, from the banners. They're, they're hanging down with the pendant saying, okay, you guys have access. You know each other. It's time to look again at each other with new eyes, open heart, loyal heart, stretch and start things new. Um, be done with the old nonsense. Freshen things up. Take care. Attend to things. Um, put extra special energy and effort into things, especially in things that are gifts that are offerings of love, okay? All right, that's what I've got for you this week. Let me know how it resonates. Um, like, subscribe, tell a friend. Come again. Leave me a comment, guys. Take care.